Welcome to the 2022-2023 Supper Clubs. We're so glad that you are participating. We have about 300 people mm -hmm. um, engaged in Supper Clubs this year, and that is always thrilling. Yeah. And kudos to you for starting this program about 15 years it's ago. It's been one of the best things we've done. I mean, it's connected so many people through yep. the years, and people love it. So yeah. kudos to you for yes. uh, signing up, being a yes. part of it. And also thank you to those of you who, are, who have agreed to be captains of your supper club. We know that that's always a bit of a, a challenge to take on, but it's a great role and we're really appreciative. Kudos to Krista Ramby, the captain of the captains who signs up every the last few years has been yeah. our, our kind of go-to for us. Grateful, you, Krista. <laughs> Krista. <laughs> She's probably not in a supper club. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> or they don't watch the videos. <laughs> exactly. Um, this year we've, we've picked a theme and our theme is connecting Sunday to Monday, integrating faith in, integrating faith in life. Um, so we're going to talk about how we go from this space on, in church on Sundays and taking our faith into the world. It, when you're in worship, I hope that you've noticed that at the beginning of a worship service, we call to worship. We gather together and we do a call to worship because it's a way of signaling that we've come into a different space, that we are together as the body of Christ, body of Christ, and we're here to worship God. And so over the course of that hour, we trust that your spirits are nourished, that your minds and hearts are challenged, that you've been together with a community that's here to do the same thing. And then at the end, we do the sending forth or sending out, and that's the charge and benediction. And what we're charging you to do and blessing you to do mm. is to take your mm -hmm. faith back into the world as renewed and nourished and connected um, to Christ again. Even says that in the bulletin, right? At the it end, does. sending forth or sending out. And mm -hmm. some Gathering like together and sending yeah. forth, yep. And it's funny, so many times we, or so many times, sometimes we'll be shaking hands and someone might say something like, you know, um, back to the real world now, mm -hmm. right? And, and on the one hand, that's, you know, <laughs> we think we, what we're doing in here right, is, is right. pretty real, um, but we get it because mm -hmm. we also have that challenge of taking those values that we've been talking about in here and applying them in a world that doesn't always share those values, mm -hmm. right? Um, so it, they're often at odds, and we thought of a few just as an example. So in the, in the world out there, um, often we hear a lot about competition and survival of the fittest or that rugged individualism. Mm -hmm. um, and here we talk a lot about the least of these and the beatitudes of blessed are the meek or the poor. Mm -hmm. um, very different value set of, of who's valuable. Um, right. what's, what's, uh, what's the measure of success out in the world? Probably money. Mm -hmm. you know, material goods. Mm -hmm. These right? external you yep. know, status. Yep. Prestige. Mm -hmm. um, in here, we talk about uh, the depth of your mm -hmm. faith or the, mm -hmm. or the largeness of your heart, you know, how compassionate we are. Those right, are, those right, are very different love, values. yeah. yeah. Um, another one is around um, who's at the center? Are you at the center and, and everything's really up to you to do? Or is God at the center and we're a part of God's story? If it's you, then power, accumulating power, Makes sense. I mean, you need to protect your power, accumulate it. We talk a lot in here about surrendering power. Right. And those are very different values. Giving right? up, yeah. right. Yeah. Um, so in here, we talk about gospel values and the gospel values being different than the world's values. We thought a great um, scripture to sum up and give, a, mm -hmm. give some meat to the theme this year mm -hmm. is from the prophet Micah. That's in the Hebrew Bible in the Old Testament. Um, the prophet Micah, chapter 6, verse 8. What does the Lord require of you? To do justice, to love kindness, and to walk humbly with your God. And we think that that is an alternative value system to what the world says, um, you know, about how we should be in the world. Right. But to love God by doing justice in whatever sphere you are operating in, mm -hmm. loving kindness, being loving and kind, um, and walking humbly, being humble, th that's mm. a radical value. It sounds so simple. And right. you try to be out in the world and do those things right. in the different in the spheres. Roles. Mm -hmm. and, and that's what we'll, we'll talk about. Um, the Apostle Paul says at one point that God uses what seems foolish uh, mm -hmm. to shame the wise. God takes what is weak or seems weak uh, to shame 
uh, the strong. The strong. So mm -hmm. this kind of reversal of values, and and I think we all kind of look at look at those values and go, but really, is there you know, is that really going to work right. out in the world? Yeah, it feels so naive. It feels naive, and mm -hmm. I think we would you know, do you, are we serious? Yeah, we mm -hmm. are. Mm -hmm. And will it work? Maybe not. And that's the piece that right. we really about taking our faith seriously when we think about Jesus and the walk. Um, that he walked and, the, and what he, the values he lived by and the way it, it, it ultimately cost him his life. So right. you could say right. it didn't work in that, in the, in that, by, the, in the, by the values of the, right. the empire That's right. or the, right, the world. Yeah. And yet the world is still talking about Jesus even mm -hmm. after all mm -hmm. these. So did it work? You know, I think right. it's a... Right, it's yeah. yeah. What what kingdom? What kind right. of neighborhood do we want to live in? Right. And what by what values? Yeah. 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 So we're excited about this this yeah. series. I think this will be a rich rich time. So we found what five areas. Five. Mm -hmm. um, do you, yeah. Yep. Yeah. So we have five different um, spheres that we want to talk about faith in, <clears throat> and that will be each month. So over the next five months, we'll do faith in the workplace, faith in parenting. And fa or family, family and parenting, mm -hmm. faith in marriage or partnering, faith in friendship, and then faith in politics or citizenship, mm -hmm. the polis, being in the mm -hmm. city and, and having your faith in the external world, it might connect to, to do justice mm -hmm. is yeah. one of the values, you kindness. Think of, think of the Micah 6, 8, you know, being kind or humble in that political sphere where we, we've so challenge. demonized the other side and feel such emotion around it. That's right. It's really challenging. That's so right. That'll be interesting. And occasionally we're going to have guests right. and, um, and do a little interview. If there's somebody we think has some special uh, insider perspective on one of these subjects, we might do that. Sometimes we might just do it ourselves. Mm -hmm. So I think it's going to be a good year. I do too. And I'm we excited. trust that you're going to have a good year in mm -hmm. getting to know people or deepening your relationships with um, people you know already. That's right. And uh, we're so grateful to be part of your evening for sure if or you, breakfast or <laughs> lunch if you're um if you're a new group together you might now just just spend some you know a little more time getting to know each other and do introductions and mm -hmm. just talk about each other's lives because the 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 relationships and the trust are the real you know the real success right. of this program right. so getting to know each other is really important some of you have been together for probably all those 15 years and um, so I think we'd invite you to think about, just go ahead and start getting into this topic a little bit, to think about when have you tried to take your values that are something that you learned here or thought about here, and where have you had trouble um, out in that, yeah. you know, in the world, what spheres have been more challenging than others? Yeah. Um, just beginning yeah. that conversation. Translating your spiritual life into yeah. the real world. Yeah, just, kind of a, just kind of think about that a little bit, and then each week we'll, we'll dive deeper into it. One of the topics. Each month. I keep saying that. Each month. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We wish you well. Have a great um, evening. Have a great meal yeah. together. And uh, we'll see yeah. you next month. Yeah. Take care.